Welcome back, Volt Hunters. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in the wonderful old and awesome world of Borderlands 2. And we're about to start the Hammerlock DLC today. Last we lot uh, last episode of Borderlands 2, we finished up some more quests here in the BA Crater. All right, or Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage, I should say. All right, so we're going to be doing the. Uh, the uh, Hammerlock DLC. I want to change my sniper real quick. Go back to the volcano. All right, you guys ready for this? Let's see if I can even remember the name of this place. Hunter's Grotto. There we go. I think this is it. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Oh man! Excuse the sniffling. Danger! Excitement! More stashes! It's time for another episode of Vault Hunter Adventures featuring Sir Hammerlock. In this week's tale, our hard-boiled heroes travel to the savage continent of Agris. Their goal? To uncover the most exotic creatures Pandora has to offer and give them the old one-two. But danger looms on the horizon for our swell swashbucklers. For while Handsome Jack may be gone, his legacy lives on. Yay. <laughs> Aha! You've made it, old chum. I've set up a base camp of sorts near your location. Come find me, would you? Look at this weird, uh, this box. Oh, nice. Right off the bat. I can't remember much about this DLC, by the way, so I don't play this one that much. But it, it, these boxes kind of remind me of some of, like, kind of a tribe, like tribal art or something. Oh, it looks like we're in a large cave or a dome. That's neat. Who needs ladders? <laughs> no ladders. Two-legged drifter. Hey, these were in the first game. They 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 were kind of they hurt in the first game, if I remember. They hurt a lot in the first game. Hey, there you go. Die, fool. I'm gonna switch over to the uh, kitten, I think. If, it, if I'm gonna fight those guys. This one wouldn't work because it always tries to hug the ground. Yeah, let's go to the kitten. Even though it say it like has like a spread shot, might have a better chance of hitting these weak spots right here. What you got here? Well, this place is uh, level 33. What? Nothing is like level 30, capped out. I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. By the way, I. Went with a different character, and I tried to do because I haven't never beat the uh, Digistruct Peak stuff. And uh, I went to it with a different character. Ew, what is this? It's kind of gross to look at. <laughs> but uh, I went with a different character to see and played a couple of rounds of that um, Digistruct Peak, and it's short, and I realized that. Each playthrough has has unlocks another section of the uh, Digitruck Peak, and if you do it in the first playthrough, you only do just the first section, which is short and not really that tough. It might be though, because the other character I played it, you know, played with was uh, Gage, and it was um, 
she's like level 65 or something like that. So it was like super easy. So yeah. My sinus is messing up. We got a lot of rain where I'm living right now. They're, they're, they're expecting rain all week. Oh yeah, see what I mean? It may be all over the place, but it hits the uh, weak spots a lot easier. You have a higher chance of hitting the weak spots. So I don't have to aim, pretty much. Yeah, this is like tribal or something. Oh, there's a switch here. It's red, that means it's not going to do anything. Is this uh, one of those um, invincible boss spawners? Uh, I'm curious now. Watch it be like the uh, skyscraper. Remember that from the first game? Where it was one of those drifters and he was bigger? Is that what that is? Those uh, invisible bosses? Or well, that spawner could be a... And he's a fire one, of course. He's fire. Whoa, man, whoa. He turns into a tornado. Ow, dude, ow. Stop, man, stop. Oh, these guys are tough. These witch doctors, they are tough. Super tough. That guy wasn't that tough for these witch doctors, though. Got him. Are they even weak against elementals? He, he looked like he was slag because he was all purple. Looks like this DLC might actually put up a challenge with me. Oh, nice chest. Level 35. Well, 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 well. I'm going to pick that up. I think my limit was 2,500. Well, of course, the Hyperion base will never, it, it ever looms. I was about to say it never leaves. But I, it sounds better if I say it, it ever looms in the distance. Nice house. Just floating there. Did you do that sound you're hearing? That or it could be a mouth harp. Mouth harp or did you did you do? Which is an Australian instrument. You know, when I was a kid, I always wanted to go to Australia. I don't know why. Maybe because I watched the Crocodile Dundee movies <laughs> when I was growing up. I didn't like the rest of them, though. One and two. One is the best. Second one was, eh, okay. And then after that, it just got weird. <laughs> but yeah, I like the Crocodile Dundee. Paul Hogan is uh, the main actor's name. And uh, ever since I watched that as a kid, I always wanted to go to Australia. I'm nearby. Come find me and we'll fight our way to the launch together. Then it'll be nothing but a carefree weekend of hunting, companionship, and body jokes about social taboos. I'm guessing you're up there. Oh, Hammerlock. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I did this DLC. I don't play this one that much. Maybe there's something about it I don't like. I do remember the boss fight. And it is sucky. Uh, it's hard to forget that boss fight. I'm not going to say much if you haven't played the game before. So you have to wait, to see, wait and see. But whoever is watching this that has seen. 
or has played Borderlands 2 and uh, 2 completion with all the DLCs will know what I'm talking about. And it looks like these enemies are going to pose a bit of a challenge. I'll go into this little hole here. I think this is the way to the house. Oh, there he is. What's up, man? Yeah, I did, I'd like to take a picture of him like this and cut him out on the box. And then put that in my uh, thumbnail with Sir Hamlock's Big Game Hunt. What ho, old hunter. Welcome to Agris. The lodge is just up the path here. Stick close and we should arrive with no trouble. Did anybody know that um, Miss Sir Hammerlock is actually part of the LGBT? <laughs> you just have to... If you already know what that means, you'll know what I mean. Now I got nothing against those people. Nope. Not at all. I am not racist. I am not a bigot. I am none of that good old good old bad things. Hey dude. What is that? You gonna shoot that? Shoot it. What is that? Slag spore. It looks like it's hard to kill too, what the It's saying that I might have a chance to level it up in this DLC. Am I going to be able to... Oh, whoa, whoa, dude, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no, bro. Oh, jeez. I never liked these drift drifters in the uh, first game. And the drifters in the first game dropped more loot. These these guys barely drop anything. But they, at least the loot is worth picking up. That, that's something. I don't know if this weapon's going to be good for um, taking out those uh, tribesmen, if you will. I don't know what they're called. Because they are putting they, they got some help on them. Oh, they got a lot more defense. Like I said earlier, I might be able to level up, uh, level up off of this DLC. Level 42. I'm not really watching my EXP meter. Down at the bottom. Oh, my nasal. The sinuses or whatever is really bugging me today. It's making it really hard to talk. So I might sound uh, a little nasally, more than usual, I guess. Let's see how well this gun works. Oh, dude, who are you? Savage warrior? Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, I got a spore. Hey, it's freaking huge. Ah. Oh, at least I landed here. Get away, get away. Get away. Hey, this does a little bit of damage. Already unlocked. I don't know how, but it's already unlocked. Must have gotten it a long time ago. Is there another witch doctor here? The witch doctors suck. And he went like that. Did you hear that sound? Does that make the other one stronger? Ow, dude. I ain't scared. That's what I'm about to say. I ain't scared. I should be, though, right? Where's you guys are? Where are you guys? I see you, but I don't know where you are. Oh, there's one. Aha. You got, oh, doorman. 
And that means there is an invincible boss here. And I'm wondering if that summoner I found earlier, or that totem, is, or what summons the uh, invincible boss. Good for, good for you. People are terrified of me. How do you not know? You guys are assholes. We can use this lodge as a base of operations for our hunting expeditions. I'll let you do the honors. We press that switch and let there be light. Let there be light. What is the power on this place? Uh, from the first game, the uh, zombie island of uh, the Do Dr. Ned ep uh, episode. I can't wait for the third game, though. It's gonna hope this will be a lot of fun. They better not F it up with a whole bunch of microtransactions, stupid game, or what? such as these and with my right hand being made of metal I'm incapable of amusing myself in the way most other males would <laughs> wow some revolt you before you're there positively revolt wow but uh, I don't want weird game mechanics I, I do not care for weird game mechanics you know like a uh, time mission is sucky some of it can be exciting, but some of it just just could be pretty bad. I thought that was him standing there. I didn't see the rope all the way up there. I saw this like look like a human figure just standing there. But nope, it was just a pole. Ah, there's the catch a boat station where you can summon a dinghy. I shall have to repair it after I take a moment to laugh heartily at the amusing cadence of the word dinghy. <laughs> Now that that's over with, please watch my back. Once I've repaired the station, you can summon a dinghy and we'll keep it into the swamp and start hunting some real game. Uh oh, one of those guard him while everything in the in the universe comes out. Old hunter, I fear things are about to get hairy. Does it always? Well. I just pretty much instantly died. I still am instantly dying. Hey, man. Another witch doctor. He looks like he's fire based with a red wand. Is this a uh, DLC racist? By the way, I uh, sure they hope not. But all these like tribesmen, I'm starting to get that like racist vibe, if you will. So what it seems like is that these witch doctors have different colors. That means they represent each of the elements, like fire. Hey, man. So their spears can uh, slow you down. See all these items I can pick up? Go down, man. Oh, there's another witch doctor right there, yep. He's electricity based, it looks like. Shock, yep. 
Do they even have headshot spot on or a weak spot? I swear I just hit those in the head a couple of times. You get going. I'm taking out these guys. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Oh yeah, I hope I'm talking loud enough because I had to move the microphone microphone a little further away. Because it's still crackling once in a while. I guess I'm not realizing how loud I'm talking or something. I don't know. There's still crackling here and there. I'd like to get up there. Is there a way up there? Looks like there could be one of those weird chests up there. Is there a way over here? Maybe. No, don't look like it. Did I walk all the way over here for nothing? Does seem that like it, doesn't it? Is there a way up there over here? What? Is that a way up? Come on now, there's items up there and it looks even looks like there's even a chest. The game is like nope. We're gonna block you at every pass. This is another one of the totems. Sorry, I was yawning there. Just woke up. Not long ago. Alright. Turn this in. Protect Hammerlock while he repairs the catch ride. Or catch a boat machine. Walk up to our Agris. Now kill some stuff. Yes. 10,000 EXP. Nice. Now, let's go hunting. I've heard tell of an unusual creature out in Silas Grove. Head out there, find it, and do what you do best. By which I mean blast it to tiny bits, of course. Of course. Hey, come here for a second. Mercenary person. Blood is in the air. Acquire taste. I hear tell of a Borok that dines only on human flesh. You'll have to be either extremely clever or extremely suicidal to lure it out. I've marked its lair on your Echo device. Head there now. Uh, a Borok? What the heck is a Borok, dude? You gotta remember, guys, that I haven't played this DLC in a long time. And I don't remember some of the stuff. A Borok? Is that a new creature? Is it that creature that was in that little uh, cutscene at the very beginning? The one spidery like thing? Not like that. <laughs> wet and drifty. He drifts. And he's wet. That sounds bad. Alright, still just a Borok in a cage. Art requires suffering, but not yours. Egg on your face, hard boiled. Let the hunt begin. I like my monsters rare. I am von Heinrich Zimmerschneid, and I search for truth. I am filming a documentary about hunting, about you. You will capture the monstrositat while I record mine director's commentary. I have set up cages. Find them. Cages. I have set up cages. I can't do that accent. I'm trying though. Bones. The boner tunnel. <laughs> That's so bad. So extremely bad. Welcome to the Boner Tunnel. Ooh, nice. Is that a bird nest or some other weird creature? Is it those uh, spores? Even though they don't have any arms or any way really to build something like that. But hey. Boat? Boat. Hmm. Corrosive boat. 
flamethrower boat and shock fan. Which ones is the best? I'll try out the corrosive one maybe. I'll just keep the default skin. Oh, it shoots like a uh, poison like dart or something similar to a dart. Ah. And it has a slight, slight arc to it. Can I get up there this way? Can I get up there this way? It looks like there's stuff up there, man. Little town over here. Is there... Oh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> You've been acidified. Die, you fools, die. If I remember correctly, I heard about some like special dude that these witch doctors can make. Oh, it heals them too. Every time they get upgraded. This gun is very inaccurate. Very inaccurate. Dude, die, man, die. Ah, oh, my boat. My, my boat. Got him. Snuck up on him and shot him in the back. It's probably the best way to take them out. Those witch doctors, I feel like they're going to pose a bit of a problem throughout this whole let's play. Of this DLC, of course. <coughs> Man. Nothing's working on me right now. I was like, my sinuses are messing up. I feel like I need to cough. But I'm not sick or anything. Could just be the allergies being stirred up by the rain lately. We had a heavy downpour yesterday. Egg. Egg on your face mission. The vault hunter collects the eggs for reasons known only to them. Boredom. Justice. Because I paid them to do so, we can but speculate. So those ugly looking things I ran to earlier, those are eggs. Yum. I wouldn't eat something that looks like that. Looks like something bombed it up. Looks gross. Can I go back here? Or is this a death zone? There's a wall there. A death wall. <laughs> so far I'm not being targeted by some lasers saying Warning You are about to leave the area Warning Hey man Hey dude Are you going to be chasing after me now? Oh dude <laughs> Dude This guy's got a lot of health on him. That's right, start running. Yeah, oh. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. I think I saw something blue over there. Yeah, right there. Is that one of those eggs again? Oh, gunner seat, no. Oh, the driver's seat. Off we go. Back off, bro. Back off. I am the good guy here. You guys should be good, too. I never did anything with you. It's like I never came here and shot at him automatically. There's something up here. Chest, loot, something at all, nope. Disappointment, that's what's up there. Nothing but disappointment. Aha, there is a chest, but it's down here. Do 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 do. Is there another witch doctor?
I killed your buddy. Killed your buddies. Plural. <laughs> Sniping challenge. It's like, it's like shooting uh, ducks in a, like at a carnival game. Shooting all the ducks on like the little lines. Or whatever you call them. What? Oh man, it's another one of them. Did you say caca? You know that means poop. Guano. Guano bowls. Collect the whole set. Ow, oh, what are you, dude? Crippling? Oh, I see. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get off me, man. Dimensional for fan boat. Power is going out. Or my light bulb just went out. Something went out. Like half my room went dark. Cause I noticed something behind me was flickering in real life. And I think one of my light bulbs went out. Just now. Now it's like weird looking now. <laughs> it's like dark on half of my room. $3,500 for a Sublime Snyder. Oh, we got this one. Things are actually worth picking up. Oh my goodness. I feel special. Something over here. Oh, I need to pick up the egg, don't I? I got how many eggs do I got to pick up? Probably a, a butt ton. These things look so gross, though. Has a surface that kind of resembles that of a slightly toasted marshmallow I guess if that makes sense <laughs> yeah one of my light bulbs went out I thought the power was about to go out when it was flickering like that not just a light bulb that would have been really sucky I would start this all over again aha uh -huh. the iridium things I'm thinking these are summoners for something this one don't have a switch though but has a chest Shields. Shields, Captain. Shields. Let's go ahead and pick all these up. Why not? I've got a little bit of room. You can always sell it all. Not unless something is actually useful. That would be great. I need the useful things. It's a pretty neat area, though. To be honest. Kind of like the cave aesthetic. No, don't be spitting your black hole at me. And don't shoot my ship either, bro. I wonder if that bottom piece is their weak spot. He said resist for a second there. Seg's like highly resistant to all. Ow. Forgot about these little dudes. Forgot about them. Well, that almost killed me. Was it worth it? Was it worth it shooting that thing? Was it worth it? And I would say no. It was not. Uh oh. You can't shoot the gun and this at the same time. Oh yeah, you can. I just it wouldn't do it when I was shooting at this thing. Ah, uh -huh, got him. Go to cages. Cages are off here, outside the map. Is there anything that might be closer? Where's this? I uh, like my monsters rare. Where's this at? 
Can I zoom out? Yeah, that is fully zoomed out. Um, um what's this white dot? So I do not see what this one is. Still just a bark in a cage. And that's off the map too. This one seems closer. What right? Oh, wait, what am I doing? You don't speak English. Sorry. I'm one of the native bandits you've been shooting at around here. How you doing? Anyway, there are a few rare and irritating creatures I'd like you to kill for me. No way to know where or when they'll turn up, though. Just keep your fingers crossed and your eyes open. So I gotta kill a few creatures for that guy. Go down, man. Just go down. Peacefully, please. Uh-oh, we got some more of these, uh, tribesmen. I don't like the witch doctors at all. They suck. And these guys do a lot of damage. What the heck, man? What the the heck? Hercules. What the Hercules? There you go. Hey, there's an egg over here. The ugly toasted marshmallow gross thing. I don't know. That, ain't no, that is not no toasted marshmallow. Far from it. Oh, let's see. This mission is like... You gotta kill a bunch of things? How many eggs do I gotta pick up, by the way? Let's see. Eggs. Okay, 23. Wow. I don't know. Eggs collecting extremely popular with my target audience. Retrieve some for me, but I will narrate your descent into the yogi epicenter of the human soul. I don't like the floating turd, turd monsters. Shoddy, not that great, not even worth a lot. Send us a creature here. Oh, that was an egg. Are those drifter eggs or is that something else? It could be these things. Kit seems pretty effective. I can't remember if the Hammerlock DLC is the second or the third DLC. I can't remember when Digistruck Peak came out. It's been a little while. It's like the first game. I completely got that one. The all the DLCs out of order. Keep yawning like crazy. Egg on your face. But I, I know I could have just looked it up, easily looked it up. But the reason why I did not easily look it up to see the order of it, because it might spoil something that I haven't seen or that I don't remember anymore, if that makes any sense, because I stopped playing these games for a while. Only because I wanted a fresh mind when it came to doing this Let's Play. So these guys spot you a long ways off. Oh, shooting a little too low there. Take him out. Got him. Get out of here. I'm not going to get rid of this uh, Unkept Herald. It's one of my good ones. Even though it's not maxed out level. 
it is a double penetrating one which is actually quite rare getting that one so I'll save it put it in the back of the box when it becomes too weak for this character all right somebody else can have it Oh, there's another egg over there or a quest item of some kind it looks like I am at the end of my video here and I didn't get nothing done yay but these missions are ridiculous 25 eggs a whole bunch of monsters or eights eight monsters each maybe I could do the Borok in the cage one or whatever I'm kinda out of time may play for another couple of minutes because the intro was about two to three minutes if maybe less I don't know not very long got ah, another egg where did you guys come from he was good at dodging wasn't he and I think you can't shoot them while they're in their tornado form. Ow. Nope, I don't like the witch doctors, guys. Not at all. I need to get the Sandhawk. You know, it's lower level. It might still do pretty good amount of damage. But I think I put it back in the bolt. If I remember correctly. I hope I did. Egg, if you can call it an egg. The genesis of life, the beginning of creation itself, and yet so nummy, so very, very nummy. Uh, he's gonna eat them. Yuck. Those don't look very nummy, nummy, as he keeps calling it. Head back up here while it's where it's safe or somewhat safe. They'll probably end the episode there. We're at our time. That was a couple extra minutes for the intro. Crazy, right? Time flies when you're having fun. I guess if you're having fun. This place is going to be challenging later on, and I have a feeling it's going to be. I'm going to die like a million times. Oh man, I can't stop yawning. It's awful. My yawns never end. I'm going to check these shops real quick. We fill ammo. Dead adventurers. It, it doesn't. It's already a disappointment before I even get to see it. Or use it. Rocky launcher. Oh my. From previously. Ah, yeah, turtle shields. Not a big fan of turtle shields. Acid gospel or caustic gospel. Corrosive. And. Lead and shield. Nothing too great. No class mods. Alright guys, well. I think I'll end it here. While we look out upon the the wetlands of walking spider dudes. If a spider was that big in real life, what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? Alright guys, well. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. Or consider subscribing. I would like to get to 100 subscribers. That would be sweet and awesome. I'd like to get to a million subscribers. Yeah. Let's get. Let's see. That's our stretch goal. How about that? And if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, even though it's a bit slow this time because I just woke up and I got sinus problems. 
make sure to hit that like button to show you support and um, just remember guys every time I get a like button hit that YouTube sees that and they recommend my content to more people so I get to reach a larger audience so hit that like button a lot and um, next to that subscribe button you'll see a bell icon and next to that bell icon or the yeah, the, uh, the subscribe button next to that, you'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad. And when that happens, you get notifications for everything I upload. Good job, guys. You get notifications of everything I upload so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. I keep repeating myself because I get distracted too, too often. Hey, guys. Well, each and every one of you have an amazing day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.